whole inspiration for this project came from the fact that my Mac doesn't run Remenu. And the thing is, I didn't want to spend that thousand plus dollars on a PC that I only used for one game. So I decided to build a budget PC. My goal for this project is for it to look cool, be compact enough to fit in a backpack, run BeamNG at high settings with a good frame rate, and not cost a fortune. The motherboard is a Veritron X6640G. I got it off an old school computer which came with an i5-6400. I also added two additional RAM sticks to the motherboard to make it 16 gigs, and I'll be adding a new PSU, GPU, and some fans. On Facebook Marketplace, I found the GTX 1070 8GB of VRAM for $85, and I bought a compact PCU from Amazon for $68. Arranging the port, it seems like the best arrangement is to have the GPU mounted on the motherboard, which eliminates the need for a Ryzen board, and then the PCU mounted above the motherboard I.O. The power supply's output and the motherboard's input don't match, so I had to buy a 24-pin to 12-pin adapter. With an arrangement I was happy with, I hopped onto Fusion 360 and started taking measurements and designing. After two versions, I landed on one I really liked that worked. I printed out the parts and assembled it, but as always, there were a few details that didn't quite work. For example, I somehow managed to forget about the power button. For the second print, I put a chamfer on the whole case, and I think that helped a lot with the looks of it. I also fixed the power button and the GPU attachment. The whole case is assembled with M3 screws and heated inserts, which simplifies the sign and the assembly. The fans are 120mm, which is the standard in PCs, and 15mm in depth, as opposed to the usual 25 which allowed me to design the case in a more compact way. Due to this, I also had to purchase a fan splitter because the small fans didn't come with the extensions.
The match was taken from an old case that was gifted by a guy on Mark's place and I designed this section where air is going in to have slots for the mesh, so there's no need for glue. Here's the cost breakdown for the PC. I think it's fair to say I've achieved my main goals of being a budget build, having a compact yet good design, and running BeamNG at a playable frame rate. And this is without overshocking my GPU.